Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Matt's Creative, and this is the second video in this series where we will be clearing the Pac-Man cache and open files on Arch Linux or Cache OS or Endeavor or whichever Arch-based distro you currently use. Now, we're doing this because it can be essential for system maintenance. It's easy to do. I'm going to try to simplify this as much as I can without going into too much detail where, well, it makes it seem kind of burden. Like, I don't want it to seem like a burden. I want it to seem like this is something you could run and it does it all for you. So brief understanding, Pac-Man is, of course, the package manager for Arch Linux. So if we do Pac-Man or if we type it all, sorry, uh, Pac-Man like this, you could see you could do dash for help and it ends up showing you a whole bunch of stuff you could do such as remove sync, uh, deep, uh, basically depth test, which I believe is dependencies test and there's upgrade. There's a bunch of stuff, but what no one seems to go over is what ind individual command does. And I want to do that for everybody. I want to make a whole entire playlist for Pac-Man that goes over the most important stuff. We're not going to go over everything because that would be ridiculous, but we're going to go over the majority of things that need to be done for system maintenance from time to time. Not all the time, just from time to time. So Pac-Man has a cache. It basically, uh, it's a storage for downloaded stuff and it can get quite big sometimes and you have to clear that out and it can take up a lot of disk space. So again, that's why we want to end up clearing this out. Now, the command explanation. I want to do this as cleanly as possible. There is sudo pacman dash dash sc. And this clears the cache by removing uninstalled packages. So we're going to run that first. And we're going to hit yes. It's removing everything. We're going to hit yes again. And there we go. Now, this is another command. This is dash S -S -S -C -C, okay? This clears the entire cache, including installed packages used with caution. Don't recommend this whatsoever. We're not going to touch this one, okay? And the reason we're not going to touch this is because I don't want you removing dependencies that are required to update certain things you've installed from the AUR because you want to be able to update packages from the AUR, which we're going to cover in the next video. Now, we're going to go over the orphaned files because that's just as important. And well, we're only oh, two minutes in and I want to make this at least four to five minutes long. So removing orphaned files. So the command explanation. OK, basically it's sudo. Pacman dash Q T D Q. So this will list all orphaned packages, okay? If you typed it right. And these are all my orphaned packages. Now, the command to remove all listed orphaned packages is R, N, S, okay? Hope you're with me on this one. And then we do a space and we do the number sign. We do, sorry, these two things, okay? And in between these two, we type Pac-Man dash my space button's not working very well. I regret buying this keyboard. Uh, TDQ, just like we did before. Then we hit enter. You're going to see that it's going to remove a ton of things that are no longer needed uh, relating to these packages right here. Okay. And that should save you a lot of disk space, especially with Zig being gone. So we're going to hit yes, and it's going to get rid of these. Now, the reason we're getting rid of these, again, is because they are orphan packages and dependencies that only those orphan packages ended up using. All right. So this should be pretty simple. This should be pretty easy for all of you to hopefully understand. Uh, if you don't know what sudo means, that is you doing something as an administrator. And again, Pac-Man is triggering the package manager itself. And that should hopefully cover everything. Now, if you haven't already, if you're new here, if you're new to Linux, subscribe. We got more of these videos coming. Each individual command minus what we showed today will have its own video. Sometimes I might pack a command or two into the single video like I did here, but this is what you can hopefully expect. It's a lot easier 
and it's less overwhelming for new users who are migrating to Linux, okay? We have a Discord, join that if you need help. And um, I don't know, you guys tend to post the most random things ever in the comments that are completely unrelated to the video. So I'm gonna say this, I have a list of things I'm gonna make a video about. So if you didn't see it here, you don't need to remind me to do it in another video. I have a list I have to go through. I'll go through that list. I'll eventually most likely get to it. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day.